that you did that. Because you can't do this alone, and they want to pray with you to seal that, that commitment, and now start to walk it out. Because a commitment is nothing unless it's walked out. And so, Holy Spirit, I ask that as we're getting ready to leave here, Lord, you uh, just put on our hearts what needs to be put for us to leave here more kingdomized than we were when we came, or more kingdomized than we were before we turned on the iPod. God, if there's any area of our life that's not surrendered, will you help us to, to surrender it and count the cost and pay the price? Wake us up, Lord God, to how it's deceptive to think that eating with you and drinking with you and hearing a sermon matters at all. It doesn't unless it's affecting change in our life. Lord, bring about that change. We can't do it through self-effort, Lord. We're asking you, Holy Spirit, to change us, to soften our heart, to surrender us, to go through the narrow door, to overcome every obstacle that would keep us from there, including Satan and all the obstacles he might put in our way, and free us to be your outrageously loving kingdom people who live life like you do, loving people like you do, embracing people like you do. As we leave here, Lord, I pray that we would have on our hearts a commitment to bless everybody with hope. Because you're, you're giving them a bear hug, Lord, encourage us to give them a bear hug. If only through the blessing that we say on them as we drive down the road, as we eat at the restaurant, for every stranger we confront, help us to bless them. Remind us to spread your kingdom, that beautiful kingdom, that outrageous kingdom that encompasses all people at all times and all places. By your love in Jesus' name. And all God's people said... Amen. God bless you. Go out and build the kingdom. The altar is open.